Hey friends, Ash here with Shinsense. Today's a little bit of a different video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about fragrances and fragrance evaporation. A lot of you out there may not even be aware of this or be aware that this is even a thing, but a lot of fragrances will end up evaporating over time. And this can happen to fragrances that are stored perfectly. So this isn't something that's necessarily due to poor storage. I would assume most of you out there know you're not supposed to store your fragrances in direct sunlight. For example, that can ruin the fragrance, but that's not what we're talking about. This actually has nothing to do with how you store the fragrance most of the time. I'm gonna go over with you guys some bottles that I own that have really bad evaporation problems and kind of point that out to you. I'll also point out decants and how those can evaporate and go over something that you could potentially do if you end up running into this issue. So let's go ahead and jump into this and check out some fragrance evaporation. Okay guys, fragrance evaporation. This typically happens when there's not an airtight seal to the bottle. So essentially, if your bottle is not airtight, then very, very slowly over time, and I'm talking potentially years here, the fragrance will evaporate. It's most noticeable in decants, especially from plastic bottles, so plastic decants. And this can start happening if there's even just the tiniest tiniest opening to the bottle. Obviously that's gonna be coming from the atomizer typically or where the bottle is crimped along the top of the bottle. So here, for example, is a three milliliter sample of Sartorial by Penhaligans that I bought uh, a number of years ago at this point. I bought this when I was still living in the old house, which if you watch my very early videos, uh, I had a different setup that was at my older house. That's when I bought this one. Now I actually bought a lot of different samples from this company, myperfumesamples.com. I threw away pretty much all of them except for this one because I wanted to show you what this looks like. Now believe it or not, this one, I never sprayed. I know, it's stupid to buy a fragrance sample and not spray it, but whatever. Here's what it looks like now. It's completely empty. There is nothing in here. I never opened this, I never sprayed this, I always had the cap on this, and I actually kept it and my little decant storage area, which is actually technically a lipstick holder, but those work really well for holding decants because you can just fill it up with decants and it's kind of tiered, so it's easy to see what you've got. That's a pro tip if you have a lot of decants and you're thinking of how to store them, you could potentially go that route. This is the first time I've ever opened this and look at that, it is bone dry. These plastic atomizers seal tight enough that you can shake it, jostle it around, whatever, and none of the fragrance is going to spill, but it is not sealed so tight that air can't get in and that will evaporate your fragrance over time. So this three milliliters of sartorial just vanished into the air. And actually every single sample I bought from this company did the same thing. They all evaporated. Some of them were five mils, some were three, some were 10. And um, I didn't get to use all of any of them because they actually evaporate really quickly. These plastic ones, over a number of months sometimes, you'll lose everything. These plastic atomizers actually spray out a ton of fragrance. They are great for that, but they're terrible for everything else. And just as an aside, a lot of people think that uh, plastic is bad for fragrances in general because the plastic will leach into the scent itself and mess up your fragrance just by being in a plastic atomizer. So I suggest not using that at all. Next up, I wanna show you guys this really small glass atomizer. This is something that will happen a lot of times too if it's not sealed up really well. This is a glass atomizer I got from Ensar Oud and they screwed the top down but didn't use any plumber's tape or parafilm or anything like that, which I'll talk about in a second. So what happened, and this happened again over just a number of months, the fragrance actually condensed into like this <laughs> super potent syrup. So there it is, and it's turned into like a little super concentrated syrup. So that's another thing that will happen with this evaporation. Now I wanna show you a decant that was prepared the way that most people prepare decants now, uh, but it still had evaporation issues. So you'll see here plumber's tape wrapped around the threading of the bottle. So the plumber's tape was put here and then the cap screwed down all the way over top that. This is a 10 milliliter decant. I actually used about one milliliter, 
but you can see that there's about half gone. So five milliliters are gone here. That would mean about four milliliters has evaporated. To be fair, it takes longer for the evaporation to happen under this circumstance, but even this with the plumber's tape around the threading is not airtight enough to keep evaporation from happening. Now, here's a decant, which is about the same age as the last one I showed you, but this one hasn't really had an issue with evaporation, and it has parafilm that's been wrapped around the, uh, the top of the bottle here, around the, the cap. So where this has been screwed down, then parafilm has been put over top of it, and that has kept this airtight with the cap on, and with this parafilm on, no air can get in here and there's no evaporation. So before I jump into the retail bottles, I just basically wanna let you know that if you're gonna be buying decants, a whole lot of them, and they're gonna be sitting, that you need to take some precautions or else they're going to evaporate. If at all possible, you need to get either parafilm or plumber's tape and then put that around this top part of the bottle as well as the threading. Keep the cap on when it's not in use and if you do all those things, you should be able to stave off evaporation. I know that sounds like a pain in the butt, a lot of extra steps to take, but if you don't, eventually those fragrances are going to go away into the ether somewhere. Now, let's talk about some retail bottles that I've had this issue with, and in particular, I'm going to highlight a brand that I actually love that has enormous problems with evaporation. So I guess we'll just talk about that first. It's Imaginary Authors, which is a brand I love. I own tons of them, which you can see over my shoulder in every video right back here. Their current bottle design is terrible for evaporation. It's really, really bad. They're not the only indie brand that has issues like this, but for me, they're the most prominent or the most obvious. So let me show you something. This is my first bottle of Cape Heartache. I love this fragrance. It was the first fragrance I bought from Imaginary Authors because I just thought it smelled amazing. I have had no problems at all with evaporation from this bottle. This was their original 60 milliliter design. They've gone to a 50 mil bottle now. So I'll show you how much fragrance is in here and everything that's missing is what I have used. So there is nothing missing here due to evaporation, best as I can tell. So there it is, as you can see, it is fairly full. And this is the fragrance from Imaginary Authors that I have worn the most of. Now here's a look at the atomizer and how it's crimped. So you can see right here how that's done. I pulled out four random Imaginary Authors fragrances here so I can show you the differing levels of evaporation that's happened with these bottles. Like I said, Cape Heartache is the one that I've worn the most. Here is the second design of Imaginary Authors bottles. You can't get these anymore, at least they're not making them now. So if you buy one of these, it's going to be used and uh, that goes for this one as well, the one I just showed you. So this is my backup bottle of Cape Heartache and this is the style of atomizer that this bottle has. This was actually my least favorite Imaginary Authors atomizer style. And check out how much is missing from that. And I did not wear that much from this bottle because when I wear Cape Heartache, I wear it from this one. But that is nothing compared to the new style. The new style of bottle has some really bad problems with evaporation. Here is Whispered Myths. I bought this actually when it was very first released. I did a review on it. Uh, I bought it straight up from their website and there is a good amount missing here that I have not worn. So check that out. That is all evaporation right here. Falling into the sea, same thing. You can see right there how much is missing. That is 99% evaporation. I've only worn this fragrance maybe three times. And here is the Cobra and the Canary, exact same thing. There it is. And here's the newest one, Sun Drunk. So this is the one I've had the least amount of time. And here's how much of the fragrance is in Sun Drunk as of right now. And I've actually given this a decent amount of wear because I was planning on reviewing this. So you can see there with Sun Drunk that the bottles for Imaginary Authors don't come already down here. It would be different if each one of these bottles came filled to there for whatever reason, at least then it would be consistent. But they don't, they come filled up to the top and then they evaporate. I don't know that this issue with Imaginary Authors has ever been brought up, but it's really obvious. If you check these newer bottle designs of Imaginary Authors every few months, you'll see that fragrance going lower and lower and lower. And it is a bummer, an enormous bummer, to see the fragrance level just going away because 
there's not a ton that you can do about it. It just seems like for whatever reason, these caps aren't airtight. And very slowly, very, very slowly, that fragrance is evaporating. So what I'm thinking I might have to do is get some parafilm and just put it all around the neck of the bottle here to try to keep these fragrances from just disappearing. That being said, it is not just imaginary authors. This is Cheyenne Blue Sicilian Limes. I know this doesn't look like much, but I've worn this fragrance maybe two times and I have lost that much fragrance. And one thing that I've noticed with Cheyenne Blue, because I own a few of the fragrances, is that these atomizers are not that great. On a number of these Cheyenne Blue bottles, when you spray this out, you'll get some leakage out from underneath the uh, neck of the bottle here. So if I spray this five or six times, there will be a little drop that comes out right here and runs down the bottle. And that tells me right away that this is not airtight. If when I do a spray of the fragrance, it's leaking out from underneath the neck of the bottle, that's not good, that's not great quality. And so I've noticed this Cheyenne Blue slowly losing fragrance as well. And you would think that maybe these are just cheap bottles or something, but that's not necessarily the case because I have Dua Casino Royale right here. This 30 milliliter bottle has had zero problem with evaporation. As you can see right there, this is still as full as the last time I left it. And if you look at that, I mean, there's nothing special going on with the atomizer but this thing is airtight. Basically, this video is just to make you guys aware of this potential issue. If you have a fragrance, especially an expensive one or a vintage one, just make sure that it's not evaporating. It would be a shame to have a fantastic fragrance just evaporate into the air. To an extent, I just wanted this to be a sort of PSA, I guess, the more you know kind of thing. With your decants, especially your expensive ones, make sure that they're not evaporating. Same thing with your bottles. If you notice when you spray the fragrance out that you've got a leaking issue, make sure that that fragrance isn't evaporating over time. Check up on it every month or two, and if you see that level declining and you've not been wearing the bottle, understand you've got an evaporation issue with that bottle. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Thanks so much for your support. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.